today I'll be filming an ever so slightly late monthly favourites video. I'm really sorry about that, but the Monday just gone, which is when I usually film my videos, was a bank holiday and I was working the whole day. It was super duper busy. I actually ended up having to stay longer just because there was so much to do. And then by the time I got home, there just there really wasn't time and I was absolutely exhausted. And the last thing I want to do is record like a half ass video for you guys because you deserve better than that. I haven't really picked up loads of things this month just because I've been saving for June and Download Festival and I'm at, which I'm actually leaving for tomorrow. I'm going up to London tomorrow night. And I'm so excited, oh my god, I'm going to have so much fun and I'm going to be able to make loads more videos for you guys which I'm just going to put it out there now, they're probably not going to be up on a Monday just because my um, my schedule for the next like two weeks is really tight and I don't really have a day off where I don't have loads of stuff to do so I'll try my best but they might be a little bit late Anyway, enough rambling, on to my first item which is this, an incense box. I'm sure you've probably seen these before and for some weird reason I've just never owned one. We always had them in my mum's house um, but I've always kind of used the ordinary flat incense burners and these are really really good if you have pets, especially cats that like to jump around because Mr Ollie Cat really likes the smell of incense sticks and quite often when they're burning he tries to go and smell them and the last thing I want is for him to get burnt so these are really good, you can just put your incense in there as you can see I've got some old incense in there um, there's a little hole just in the top, you put it in, light it, close it and then all the smoke comes up through here it's kind of like mystical looking and wonderful and yeah it's really really good it also has a secret compartment, where is it? just on the side there so you can put your incense in here and there's also a little slot for incense cones which is great because I've got tons and tons of incense cones. I bought this from Equinox which is kind of like a local, it's not really a hippie store, kind of imagine like an Aladdin's bazaar of wonderful things um, in a shop and that's pretty much what Equinox is. I think they have a website but I don't think they actually sell anything on there but you can pick these up on eBay for really really cheap. My next item is something from Curiology, which I'm sure if you watched my recent Curiology video you probably could have seen this coming because I freaking love it. It's this witch necklace and I'm obsessed with witches, I'm obsessed with a necklace, I love the cats, I love the ravens, I love the snakes on it and just in general I, I do like quite a witchy look. I like to have a witchy aesthetic, it's just the way that I am, hence the green hair and the black clothing so this matches a lot of things that I own I really really like this and if I'm correct ooh, it was either £13 or £15 I think I'll put the price like around here somewhere um, and links below so you guys can go and look at it alrighty so the next thing on my list is actually a makeup item it was something that I didn't really um, hold such high hopes for when I was looking at it but it was something that I definitely needed it's an eyebrow product this is the um, Freedom Pro HD Brow Palette and I went for Fair Medium. Um, I'm actually thinking maybe I should have gone for a slightly darker one because I do tend to use the darker shades in this kit so when I repurchase I'll probably go for a medium dark. Um, and it's really really good if you're absolutely crap at doing eyebrows. It's really really good for beginners because it has these handy little stencils in it. Um, I don't remember how many stencils it came with, but it was definitely more than two. They're probably thrown over my room somewhere. Uh, there's only one that I use because I do find that these eyebrow stencils are a little bit bigger than I would like. I don't like to have really, really thick eyebrows, as you can tell. Um, but I find that the stencils come in really, really handy when... If you wake up early in the morning and you have to go to work, and I shave my eyebrows off, so... I have to put my eyebrows on before I go to work, otherwise it'd look a little bit weird. So it makes it really quick and easy just to get your eyebrows on as quickly as you can and they end up looking really good. Um, I do like to spend a little bit more time when I don't have work, just um, making them look more like, you know, real eyebrows. I do try and fade it a little bit if I can, which is really, really good because there's so many, oops, so many different shades in here. Um, they range from like really light to quite dark. I tend to use this one um, quite often just because it's the darkest one there. This is an eyebrow wax but I find that it works really really well if you put it down on your eyebrows first and then put the powder on the top it sticks really well which is an issue that I find I've had with shaving my eyebrows off especially if it's like really hot weather or if it's raining. 
Um, if you use powder on your brows, it does come off kind of easily. So since I've been using this wax, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I don't need to reapply my eyebrows throughout the day. Yes, I know that sounds like a really strange thing to say, but if you shave your eyebrows off, I guess you kind of understand. Um, and the other item in here is an eyebrow highlighter, which honestly I haven't been using just because I think it's too shimmery. Um, I'll try and show you guys. I, I just think that's far too shimmery. Um, and it's a little bit too pigmented for, m for me to use, to be honest. I would much rather just use like a matte white or something, just something lighter. Um, it just doesn't work with my skin tone, but I feel like if you were more, slightly more tanned, it would probably look really, really nice. I believe I paid £10 for this, but I bought it at Superdrug when they were having a three for two, so if you wanted to pick up some other stuff, that would save you some money too. Okay, so on to music. This is an album that I've been listening to a lot. Mostly since Christmas, but even more this month. It is Devil You Know, and this album is The Beauty of Destruction. It's on vinyl because I have a record player, and um, if you like Kill Switch Engage, you will probably like Devil You Know because it's the same lead singer, which was the second lead singer that was in Kill Switch Engage, Howard, the black dude with an amazing, amazing voice. He is the frontman for Devil You Know, and it's very similar to Kill Switch, but it's definitely a heavier sound. So, I mean, if you're not into heavy metal, then you're probably not going to like it. But I would definitely recommend, if you have Spotify, um, typing them in, because they also have a new album out, which I'm really enjoying, and I'm hoping to get that on vinyl too. So my last item is an item of clothing, which I featured in, I want to say last week's video, but technically it's not last week's because it was over a week ago. But the last video that I filmed, which was an EMP and Boohoo clothing haul, it is this. Beautiful, beautiful maxi shirt, which I have very rarely taken off since I bought it. It looks amazing with everything. It makes all of my outfits look that little bit more gothic. And when it's windy, I look so fucking mysterious because I'm like flapping in the wind and everything's, you know, like a hurricane's coming through. I just quite a WWE, what a douchebag. So the final item is an item of clothing, which was featured in my EMP and Boohoo haul. It is something that I'm wearing right now, and it is this long maxi shirt, which I've received a lot of compliments for, both online and offline. I wear it a lot, just because it looks really, really good with everything. And where I live in Pembrokeshire, it's windy a lot of the time, so I look super duper mysterious when I've got this flapping in the wind, because it's all long. I look like some kind of crazy crazy witch. I'll insert a little snippety clip of my outfit so you can see what the cardigan looks like. This is actually one of the outfits from my EMP Boohoo haul, so if you're a little bit more interested in some of the items that I'm wearing in this clip, then you could go over to that video and check it out. That is everything that I've been really, really loving this month. Please let me know what you've been loving this month, because I always find it really interesting uh, to see what you guys have been into. I'm kind of nosy like that. And I will see you, hopefully sometime soon, with either a download video, an IMATS haul, an IMATS video, some kind of London vlog, I don't really know, but I will get something up and hopefully I will do it soon. Bye bye guys, see you soon, hopefully.